The Researcher tab in Web Content Studio has two main tabs that work together to help you find the information for your content. We've got the web browser and we've got the scratch pad and then we've got various features which allow us to work with that information. We've also got the bookmarks which you can add and edit yourself and basically it's just a list of um, websites that you'll find useful when you're doing your research. Now let's just take a quick look at what the researcher module can do. Let's suppose we're starting a topic and we're looking for some products that we want to write content on in a niche. Let's just go over to the Google product search and suppose we're doing a website on Nikon digital cameras and we want a list of products. What we can do is do the search in Google product search. At the moment it's coming back with 1 to 10 so let me just change if I scroll over here to the preferences scroll down we'll get the top 100 results okay now Google product search has come back with the first hundred products that meet my search criteria of Nikon digital camera so with the researcher module what we can do if you'll notice that these product names are the link text on this web page so what we can do is we can strip out the link text and you can see now over on the scratch pad which is automatically opened we've now got lists of uh, products in fact it's got all of the link text so we want to try and tidy that up a little bit the first thing we can do only include lines that have Nikon and that automatically gets rid of quite a few and then we can just tidy these up a little bit and you can see there now we have a list of products the information isn't always complete because Google product search uh, truncates it at the end but we've got the important make and model number information here and we've quickly done that using the researcher what can make it more useful is supposing we wanted to do reviews on all of these cameras we can send these to either the notes we'll have a look at that first okay it says it's been sent to the notes if we go over to the notes look we've now got that list Alternatively, what we can do is we can send it to the to-do list. And now if we go back to the notes tab, you'll see that we have this to-do list which has lists of all of these products and we can add a few notes there if we want to. We can set priority and we can even order by um, priority or status or due date. We can insert a due date if we want to. When, when you've done an article on one of these, you can just tick it off and eventually you you know you can just delete the items that are marked as done and that we can keep a list of the topics that you've actually covered so that's one way that the researcher can help you it can help you find information relatively easily let's just clear the scratch pad and I'll show you another feature if we click on the grab a button you can see now that that's flashing let's go back to the web browser and we'll go to Google Just do a search of Nikon D300. We'll open this first one. This is actually in Spanish, it doesn't matter. Let's just suppose that some of this information was interesting to us and we wanted to keep a record of it. We can just copy that. What we can do is we can actually open up a different web browser. This is Internet Explorer. We can go and have a look. Here I am at Easy in Articles. I can go over and have a look at some articles that are written about the D300 here if I wanted to and uh, I think well that's a good bit of information I'll copy that and if we go back and have a look at the scratch pad you can see that that information as well has been copied and in fact you can see it in real time if I copy a little bit more you can see now it's been pasted into here so the grabber feature is great because you can go off you can go to any resource you can use any windows program read information and any information facts uh, information tips quotes or any anything that you want to put into your article you can just copy it and if the grabber is active then that information will be copied across onto the scratch pad which of course you can then send and save as uh, notes if you want to over to the notes section now you can see there's my d300 notes